Okay, what we're looking at now are the boxes that my Dell 3008 WFP monitors came in. I had one already, um, and then I purchased two more because I wanted to do Ifinity. Um, so these are the boxes that my 3008s came in. Each monitor does 2560 by 1600 by themselves. Um, and each has DisplayPort, which was important at least to have one DisplayPort monitor, but I went ahead and bought all the same monitors so I'd have the same uh, color and brightness with each of these. So again, these are the boxes for my Dells. We have over here the monitors set up on the desk. Um, and again, I've got Left for Dead open. We're looking at that right now. And inside the box, what we have are two 5970s that are running in tandem with Crossfire. Um, and this is what's driving my three Dell monitors. Um, so here we have it. Okay, so what we've got here are the three 30 inch monitors. Um, the one on the far left is connected via DisplayPort. The other two are connected via Dual-Link DVI. Currently they're set up in one uh, one grouping of a monitor. The one thing I don't like about grouping of a monitor is that my taskbar basically shoots across all of the monitors, which is kind of a pain in the rear when you're trying to uh, snap applications into a particular window. So, like for example, if I bring something up and I try and snap it, it wants to snap across all three monitors, which is kind of a pain in the rear. Um, what I'm going to do right now is turn off uh, the grouping and I'm just going to go to a single monitor and then I'm going to actually do extended instead of grouping. Um, so now we have the orientation correct, which when using Windows I much prefer to have extended than I do to have a grouping. Um, you've got quite a bit of flexibility as to what you can do. You can actually take your start bar and, and you know, move it to any of the three monitors. So now I have the start bar over there. Um, it makes it very easy to snap applications into a particular window, you know, using half of it, using all of it. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do as far as positioning a particular application to a particular window and placing it somewhere. So, again, extending monitors for Windows use is much easier to do when you have extended monitors versus uh, a grouping. So. We're going to go ahead and group the monitors now, and we are going to uh, fire up a couple games and see what Ifinity looks like. Uh, so now we've got two displays disabled, we have one enabled, we're going to go ahead and create our group. You basically just open up the Catalyst Control Center, and you go down to create a group. And depending on what orientation you want, whether you want landscape, whether you want portrait, as far as your monitors stacked on top of each other or out, I'm going to go ahead and do one by three, which is the orientation that I want. It's going to be three by one. Accept it, apply it. Turns on all the monitors. Again, I don't much care for this in Windows, but it's, it's been very nice for games. Um, one thing I found out about the display port on these monitors, it usually takes them a little bit longer to actually sync up, whereas DVI sync very quickly. Um, the display port typically takes one to two seconds longer to actually uh, sync up with the display from the video card. So it's asking me if the orientation is correct. It is not because my start menu is here. Uh, so we're going to tell it no. It's going to ask me which monitor is currently blue. I simply have to select which monitor is blue. And it knows that that is the center monitor. Now it's asking me which of the two monitors is blue. Again, I tell it the left doesn't ask me anymore because there's only one choice left so it knew where to put that particular uh, that particular unit so that's it for the grouping the grouping is now done so if we want we can close that and we can launch a game and for now I'm just going to run Left 4 Dead 2 just for, for an example I know if you've done any searches on this stuff, this is probably one of the games you've already seen up here. And on this particular game, it remembers this resolution because I've already set it. So I'm actually going to go in here 
and I'm going to show you how to, to basically how easy it is to basically set it up once you've set that grouping in Windows. You can see it's it's across all three. In a lot of the games that I've seen, the actual menus are stretched, but the games aren't. Um, some of the games are stretched even inside, and there's a utility out there that allows you to change um, the ratio 16 by 9. You, you would actually multiply the 16 uh, by 3, basically, so it's not 16 by 10 anymore as far as the resolution. Um, so we're going to go into options, we're going to go into video, and you can see I can change my resolution um, to these to these settings. So and it's already set correctly, which is 7680 by 1600. That's for the three monitors. So I'm just going to start a quick single player game just to see what we have here. from ATI, the Crossfire in 5970 is broke when you do Ifinity. Crossfire is not broken with two 5970s when you're only using one display uh, monitor, but when you're using three, I have not found any way to, to be able to enable it. There is a fix out there, a patch from ATI, but I could not get it to work. I did quite a bit of reading on the net, and many others were having the issue, so I expect within the next one or maybe two driver releases that they will get Crossfire and Ifinity to work. Uh, obviously Crossfire on a single 5970, since it is two GPUs, is functioning, but when you when you try and do quad GPU and Ifinity, it is not it is not working, it is currently broken. Um, so again, this is a single 5970, um, and it runs, it runs really well. I'm, I'm around the 50 to 70 frames per second mark. Um, so it actually runs fairly well. Uh, that's that. So as you can see, it works. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Hawks, which is a game which is a flight sim type battle game, is probably my favorite game on the Ifinity, just to, to due to the you know uh, the horizon, you know being flipped upside down, right side up, the whole horizon changes and it really kind of messes with your e equilibrium. So it was really quite a cool game. Not that this one's not a great game. Um, but that's it. it it's, it's a lot of fun. You get to see a lot more than most people would get to see. So that's that game. So what we have here is Tom Clancy's Hawks. Uh, which, in my opinion, really showcases Ifinity uh, very nicely. It works very well, and it looks really good and really gives you a feel. Uh, unlike any other feeling I've had when I played a game, and, and that's that I'm physically moving or physically, uh, you know, flying. It, it takes a little bit of getting used to this, this much real estate. But you play it for just a little bit, and you, you do get used to it. But I mean, uh, again, it, it plays with you quite well. And I just want to show this one because I thought it showcased Affinity quite well. I don't want to bore you to death with, with the games, but it works and it works very, very well. I'm, I'm very pleased with this game. I'm very pleased with Ifinity. I just want the, uh, I want the Crossfire to work with Ifinity in, in quad GP setup. So, so here we're looking at uh, Tony or Tom Clancy's Hawks again, and just wanted to get a little bit closer view so you could kind of see, you know, what we see when we're playing the game. Uh, so this is it. 